Hey, it's Justin with Seaboard Marine. In this video, we're talking about our new SMX custom large frame alternator mounting kit. Uh, this is uh, going to be a good video for you if you're thinking about building your own alternator mount. You might get some ideas here, and or you might want to just pick up one of these kits and make your life easy to add a secondary alternator to your uh, marine diesel application. So this is basically the kit here, um, these are all the pieces and this is what it looks like when it's assembled, um, at least tacked together. So the idea behind this kit, basically it's evolved over time, we've, we've um, made a lot of custom alternator mounts for people over the years and Tony's always liked to, to attach them to the, to the uh, motor mount wing and uh, they've just sort of kind of a lot of design elements have just sort of evolved and, and pretty much we started noticing that most of the alternator mounts are very similar and I started thinking oh, this could be something that we could make into a kit and rather than us do a custom alternator mount which is kind of expensive it's a lot of back and forth emails pictures measurements and everything to get it right and make sure it's going to work and fit your alternator all perfect I thought why not make a kit that somebody could um, you know we could take care of all the hard stuff all the machining and design work and engineering that, that sort of eats up a lot of the time to even get a project like this started make it easy so we got all that done for you but it's also very highly adaptable for any different situation very customizable and all you really need is like a grinder or a hacksaw something to cut steel with and like a mig welder and you could put together your own custom alternator mount and all the hard machining and slotting and and turning on the lathe and all that has been done for you so it makes makes life easy and sourcing the materials etc and the hardware so it just makes it easy all you got to focus on is once you have this kit is how to how to you know where to how to sort of manipulate it and weld it and tack it into place to to get your alternator aligned um, there's a lot of adjustment built into it i'll go over kind of all the pieces and, and that in a second but uh it just makes it easy to, to build your own alternator mount and customize it for your for your needs so um, basically it all starts with the base plate. So the base plate's been slotted. So we've got cross slots. This is the this is the actual alternator pivot plate. So we got cross slots. So that means when you go to weld this on, you don't need to be laser beam accurate for the alternator to line up on the belt. You're going to have you know an inch of adjustment and twist. You know you can twist these a little bit. You can align. So you're going to be able to get that belt aligned and, and then once you lock that in you lock in the alignment and then you can adjust the tension of the belt as the belt wears in or whatever um, so we got our base plate and then we got our alternator uh, pivot plate the alternator pivot this is for a j180 or what we call the seaboard a large frame alternator which is like a 22 si 28 si and even some of the larger balmar alternators that use anything that uses the four inch pivot with a half inch bolt um, and you could probably cut this down if you want to do a small frame alternator you could probably just chop this down to a two inch pivot and do a small frame alternator but um, or make your own pivot do something completely different uh, but uh, so you're gonna you'll tack that there and then we got our our little tower here for the tensioner and then the tensioning arm you know it's all put together here so um, as far as how you would install this kit the first thing you would do is sort of we like to go off the engine wing you could go off of some other other area of the engine or something else but it's important that this floats with the engine so the engines on isolators the, the engine moves a lot this alternator the alternator you can't expect the belt to make up that movement so the alternator needs to float with the engine um, our main thing is usually to attach it to, to the engine mounting wing and you could flip it to either side now i left this long so this is quite a bit longer than it needs to be um, and I did that on purpose, that's by design, so you can cut it to length to fit your application. And you can also, sometimes you need to get more height. Um, if you kind of slit this halfway through with a hacksaw or a grinder, you can bend it down, and then I'll show you some pictures of that. And then you can have it sort of like a hinge, and then tack it all together, and then you'll fill that with weld when you're all done. And that can allow you to get some extra height. So I just left a little bit of extra material here. Um, then you can tack this on. Uh, and after you, after you weld this into place and get it fully welded, you probably take a half inch drill bit and run it through there because it's going to warp a little bit just to clean it up and chase it and make make sure you got a good clear hole for the for the bolt. Um, I also left the tensioning tower. You notice like this is a 22 SI. You see there's a lot of empty space in here. If I was going to use this alternator, I probably would have made made it more compact. Um, so I made lots of room for big alternators, but you could cut this down 
um, wherever you want and, and kind of reshape this however it suits your needs. Also the tensioning arm, I've left this kind of extra long too. You could re-drill a new hole in here and cut and grind it and round it off and make a shorter arm if you wanted. Um, and then we've included a couple of plates. These are for uh, to make gussets or braces. So like if you put it here, it's just a butt weld here, you might want to sister it up with something on this side or across the bottom or however you want to do it. Um, you can cut this, grind this, whatever, uh, bend it to suit your needs. So I, we're including two gussets, uh, two gussets. And then we also include all the hardware. So we have grade eight bolts for the uh, slots so you can get the, the alternator adjusted and aligned with the belt and then locked into place. And then um, we have grade eight bolts here and, and for the pivot and the thing. And then I would recommend, um, we'll include a few extra washers so you can space this out so that the um, tensioning arm and slot lines up with the alternator properly. Um, it's 3 8 steel, so should be, I try to go th as thick, thick enough to make it nice and strong, but not so thick that you need to, some huge industrial welder. You should be able to weld this even with a, with a 200, I mean 120 volt hobby welder. Should be able to weld this and um, you know, multiple passes should be plenty strong enough, especially if you gusset it up and, and, and do it right. So rather than, um, you know, starting from scratch and, and uh, um, trying to find all the materials, get everything cut out, get all the slots and, and design all this, um, you can start with this kit and you're hitting the ground running. Now we do build custom alternator mounts. They cost about three or four times what, what this costs. Um, You'll send, you would send me some pictures and, and uh, we would, I would get all the necessary measurements and uh, we have a lot of engines on, on site here so I could mock it up on one of the, on probably the same engine that you have. Um, uh, the main thing is just the clearance issues off the side. So that's something we could do and also you could use this idea to, to build your own alternator mount if you're, if you're so inclined, if you want to, if you want to go for it from scratch. But uh, basically that's our SMX custom large frame alternator mount.